Today I'm going to show you how to set up your WebStarts email product with a mail client on your computer. There's a bunch of different mail clients out there such as Outlook and Apple Mail. And today I'm going to show you on Apple Mail, but it's pretty much the same setup for all. So let's get started. You're going to put in your full name. This is just going to be the name on your mail client. So. Then you're going to put in the entire email address. And then you're going to put in the password here. Alright, and the next step is going to be your incoming mail server. Now you're going to be setting up a pop mail for incoming and you'll also be asked uh, with Outlook the port number. You're going to want to use uh, 995 for your port or 110. So 995 or 110 for your port. Mail, Apple Mail doesn't ask you for that. So the thing it does ask you that's the same is incoming mail server. That's going to be mail dot whatever your domain name is. So my domain name is webstarts dash support dot com. And your domain name might be, you know, whatever your .com is. You're going to put in mail dot your domain name dot com. Now in the username section, this is important, you want to put the entire email. So this is my email address that I'm setting up. I'm going to use the entire email there. Okay, and then the same password. That's it for this incoming mail server. So now we're going to set up the outgoing mail server. The outgoing mail server is usually an SMTP, but we're going to change that to mail.webstarts-support.com. So again, when you set this up, it'll be mail.yourdomainname.com. Now again, a mail, uh, Apple Mail doesn't ask for the port number, but you're going to want to use 587 for the port for your outgoing mail server. So we click continue, and that's it. I can choose to take my account online and click create. So my mailbox is set up and I can use it here. As I get emails, they'll pop up in my client. For more tips and tricks like this, head to webstarts.com.